the the president actually uh, just got off the phone with me right before the show, and he said he has spoken to you about this deal and that he is against it, and he urged you to be against this deal. He was extremely, President Trump was extremely adamant about that. Um, your reaction to that, given the fact that, look, he already, he knows how to do this enforcement stuff. You don't need some new bill coming out of the, uh, the Senate to get the border enforced. Yeah, President Trump is not wrong. He and I have been talking about this um, uh, pretty frequently. I talked to him the uh, night before last. Maybe the reason Laura Ingram thinks it's honorable for Trump to dictate legislative policy to his stepstool Republicans is because she still thinks he's president. The, the president actually uh, just got off the phone with me right before the show, and he said he has spoken to you about this deal. But Speaker Johnson's refusal to even act like Trump isn't pulling his strings shows that this party no longer feels they even have to appear to represent constituents. He runs an entire party's decision-making process from Mar-a-Lago, and there's no room for any Republican that's not working solely for him. Some of them have been very clear with me. They have political differences with the bill. They say it's the wrong time to solve the problem or let the presidential election solve this problem. In fact, I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out before they knew any of the contents of the bill, any of the content, none, nothing was out at that point, that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you because I do not want you to solve this during the presidential election. By the way, they have been faithful to their promise and have done everything they can to destroy me. Fox's Jesse Waters complained the Republican Senator James Lankford refused to come on to his show recently and opted to talk to CNN multiple times instead. The conversation pivots to how the bill benefits Democrats and President Biden, but they never explain why that well-established Republican that keeps calling them out would want to assist the opposing party's president. Addressing their own colleagues' motivations would ruin the never-ending narrative that Democrats are coming to destroy you. I think there's been a real lack of leadership on this. We need a round two here, uh, because otherwise we're getting nothing on the border. And I think that's an unacceptable thing for, for our voters. A GOP leadership coming out almost immediately, though. They said it was dead on arrival almost hours without this. I, I, just, I, I just wish they were playing 4D chess and had a plan, but there is, there's, you know, there, uh, we're trying to work on that plan. Unless Dan Crenshaw slaps on an oversized tie and dyes his hair a faded yellow to demand loyalty, a round two may end in even more votes against themselves. The clown show that continues to make stops in the halls of Congress is a clear consequence of the now outraged Republicans' lack of desire to rein in Trump's buffoonery for years. How long were they backing him up and not really saying any of this stuff? It makes me wonder how Lindsey Graham feels about the one thing he was completely right about right before he fell into line. I want to talk to the Trump supporters for a minute. I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you like this guy. I think what you like about him, he appears to be strong when the rest of us are weak. He's a very successful businessman, and he's going to make everything great. He's going to take all the problems of the world and put them in a box and make your life better. That's what he's selling. Here's what you're buying. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. He doesn't represent my party. He doesn't represent the values that the men and women who wear the uniform are fighting for. Because what Mr. Trump is doing, and I don't think he has a clue about anything, he's just trying to get his numbers up and get the biggest reaction he can, He's putting uh, our soldiers and diplomats at risk. He's empowering the enemy. Those words should be replayed over and over again, each time that they endorse him as a savior and visionary of the party, especially since it was written off as bitter opposition before Trump had the chance to build a track record. But now he has, particularly on the border. No, we're not going to just pass the buck and say that, oh, any president could walk in and secure the border. I saw former President Trump make that allegation earlier today on one of his... Social media post. All the president has to do is declare the border is closed and it's closed. Well, with all due respect, that didn't happen in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. There were millions of people who came into the United States during those four years.